In this video, we're using FRQ questions to discuss trapezoidal Riemann sums. So pause and read this question. Thank you for reading the question. So now we've got a pot of tea cooling modeled by the table of values. Uh, notice that it is decreasing the whole time. So let's think about what the trapezoids might be doing here. So we might have a picture like this. And so a trapezoid, remember, we have two parallel sides. And we're connecting those to make a trapezoid. And notice in this one, our error is going to be significantly smaller. I also want you to notice that our first side length only is used one time, but our second side length is going to be used twice, once in each trapezoid. Our third one also gets used twice. The last one only gets used one time. So here we go. Uh, using correct units, explain the meaning. Uh, now this one-tenth again is talking about an average from 0 to 10. Uh, so let's look at the context of the question. So this is the average amount of time that the pot of tea is cooling over the time frame of 0 to 10 in degrees Celsius. Now we want to use a trapezoidal sum with four subintervals. So n is 4 indicated by the table to estimate the 1 tenth. Don't forget to make use of the 1 tenth. It is from 0 to 10, so we're using the entire portion. Notice we skip by 2, we skip by 3, we skip by 4, and we skip by 1. We need to use the formula for the area of a trapezoid. Area is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height. So our first trapezoid would be 1 half, base 1 would be 66, base 2 would be 60, so 66 plus 60, and our height, our first height was 2. Our second trapezoid, 1 half, now remember our second trapezoid, this side is used twice, so we use the 60 once here, so we're going to use the 60 and the 52, 60 plus 52 with a height of, this time, 3. Again, notice the 60 gets used twice. In our third trapezoid, half, again, we're going to have a shared side. So this time, our 52 gets used twice. We're using 52 and 44. Our height this time is 4. Our final trapezoid, 1 half. And uh, we've got our 44 gets used again twice. And then our 43, our final one, is used once. We're going to add all that up. If they give you a calculator, throw it in your calculator to get the value. And then when you get done, make sure that you multiply all of it either by 1 tenth or you divide by 10. Let's see how AP would have scored this one. So three points, the meaning of the expression, average temperature, again, we know it was an average because of the 1 tenth uh, of the T in degrees Celsius over the 10 minute period. Notice a second point gets you for the trapezoidal Riemann sum, and our third point is the actual value. Let's go again. Take a moment, pause, and read the question. Thank you for reading the question. So this time, uh, the topic is a zoo-sponsored contest to name a baby elephant. Uh, again, let's take a look at what we're skipping by. We're skipping by 2, by 3, by 2, and by 1. Use a trapezoidal sum with four subintervals, so n is 4, given by the table to approximate. Now again, notice the 1 8 means it's an average. And then uh, we're going to want to explain the meaning of that. Well, let's do that first. Explaining the meaning of that, that's the average number of entries during the time period 0 to 8 or from 
uh, noon to 8 p.m. Uh, of the number of entries in hundreds uh, for the contest. Now let's go ahead and do our trapezoid. Remember the formula for the area of a trapezoid is one half base one plus base two times height. Uh, these skips are our height. These are our bases. So our first trapezoid is going to be one half of zero plus four times our height, which is two. This two here. Our second trapezoid, one half, remember, uh, the four is going to be used twice, so we're going to go ahead and use the four plus the 13 times what we're skipping by, which this time is three. Our third trapezoid, half, remember we're going to use the 13 twice now, so 13 plus 21 with our height of two. And our final trapezoid, half, again, we're using the 21 twice, plus our final number, 23, times a height of 1. If they give you your calculator, then throw that in your calculator, get an answer. And because it's an average, either multiply by 1 eighth or divide everything by 8. Let's see how AP scored that. Three points. The first point for the trapezoidal sum, that would be using the formula. Now notice they just used a function notation here instead of using the actual values, which is what I did. Uh, the approximation, one point. And then the meaning, which was again the average number. It's an average because of the 1 eighth in hundreds of the entries in the box between noon and 8 p.m. Now I want to point out the e of 0 plus e of 2. Again, the function notation they used here. If we go back, those are the 0 and the 4, which is what I used here instead. And I used the entire value uh, because that's how I did it.